Hey, how's it going, everybody? Nice to meet you guys. My name is Daniel Rodriguez, aka Darkness X Mall, or pretty much my YouTube channel, but in general, get to the point, man. So, tomorrow, the Air Jordan 1 Breads Pavin Leather are dropping tomorrow. I don't know where's my pair because I put them on eBay for sale, but uh, man, where are they? Ooh. <laughs> I'm trying to look for them, but I honestly forgot where I put them. Uh, is it that one? Here, let me uh. Give me a sec, let me see if I can find them. Yeah, I found them. I honestly didn't know which uh, box was it because I got multiple boxes, just in case like, uh, you have to ship your shoes, uh, pretty much just use the same box. eBay uh, will uh, send them to eBay authentication or auth auth authenticity. And then from there, it'll go straight to the uh, buyer that bought your shoes. So yeah, man. So tomorrow, guys, uh, these are dropping uh, pretty much uh, beautiful shoe, by the way. Nice shoe. Uh, these are dropping tomorrow, Snipe USA. So the patent leather, the Jordan one. Pavin Leather, <laughs> I can't say the name of it, but Air Jordan 1 Pavin Leather Breads are dropping tomorrow on Sni uh, Snipe USA at 7 in the morning. Uh, your chances of getting them, I don't know. Uh, how many pairs are there in uh, Snipes USA? I don't know, man, but uh, I recommend you guys start, uh, wake up like at 6 in the morning, get your computer ready, get your tabs ready, multiple tabs, different, uh, different websites, uh, pretty much uh pretty much um uh, i mostly use google chrome use safari use uh, firefox uh and if you know any other websites you could use or pretty much whichever website browsers you could use use them but mostly i use pretty much uh the google safari well i mean chrome google and then safari and then i use firefox but uh yeah man these are dropping tomorrow guys at snipe usa uh just wanted to talk about that so tomorrow, well, what's the date? Uh, where are the 21st? Today, right? Let me check on my computer. No, where the 20, where in the 25th? 25th today, tomorrow's the 26th. Well, never mind. Oh yeah, we're okay. Tomorrow's the 26th because it's like 11.45. I'm making this video. So yeah, man, these are dropping tomorrow, guys. Don't forget, if you want to get a pair, I feel like this is your last chance uh until probably february where these are gonna restock a nike a nike sneakers or nike they're gonna restock these the air jordan 4 uh crimsons and yeah and then uh pretty much the cool grace too so they're gonna restock the cool grace the they're pretty much gonna restock pretty much some of the shoes that recently released uh and then some of those brick sizes like the jordan 13 that released they'll probably restock that that didn't do well. Um, what else was a brick? Uh, yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> that's pretty much it. Just wanted to talk about that. Other than that, guys, uh, hopefully you guys are able to cop. Uh, I'm hoping to get my brother a pair. Hopefully, uh, so I can make him profit. Because uh, he, he doesn't really get into it like that. But uh, hopefully he's able to get... Uh, he's passionate about sneakers, but he just doesn't have the money to get started you know he only got like probably just to buy one or two pairs so that might tell him this is the person that's gonna release tomorrow and hopefully he could cop you know uh but yeah other than that guys that's gonna release tomorrow yesterday we worked out heavy with the squats we did deadlifts uh trap deadlifts so pretty much with the squats we pretty much didn't go that heavy we just went to like 160 or 161 plus 50 no wait uh yeah 161 i keep forgetting that my safety score right bar is about pretty much uh pretty much like uh 61 pounds because it's heavier than the barbell but yeah man this is gonna release like and then uh for traps we pretty much went like 275 for 245 somewhere around there but yeah man uh yeah like i was telling you guys before these are gonna drop tomorrow but uh man these are crazy <laughs> These are gonna skyrocket, I'm telling you, trust me. Right now, people are selling them for about 330 to 350. Uh, most people are selling them on 400. I'm personally selling the mines at 450 on eBay. 
just because of the fact that I know I'm, uh, if I want the pair, I know I'm going to um, I'm gonna have to pay a reselling price. And by the time I buy it or try to find it, because then ain't nobody want to swap their Air Jordan 1 breads, pen and leather, uh, pretty much going to have to buy it for resale. And that's probably the first, that's probably the first shoe that I'm going to buy that, that I ever bought resale that I know of. Because uh, I have bought other pairs for resale, but it was under retail value, which was like less than like 20 or $40 less the, of the shoe value. But yeah, we've been working out, guys. Just to, today we play basketball. Uh, <laughs> our, our whole upper bottom legs are sore, mostly your quads and then your calves because of basketball. But yeah, man, those are dropping tomorrow. <sighs> I'm going to try, try to go to sleep early today, but... Uh, I don't know if I have insomnia or I just can't sleep. I kind of messed up my sleepy schedule. I'm not working, guys, right now. I'm uh, doing videos, YouTube videos, reviewing shoes when they drop, and reselling shoes. So I haven't sold any shoes so far, but uh, I'm gonna fix the price on eBay. So check that out at eBay Darkness XMO. Uh, uh, I'm gonna check the market again, Stock X and Goat. Uh, I just checked the market, see how much the shoe is, and the process fee, the shipping, and taxes. And try to put it right there in between those numbers and the lines. Because I know, like, I always try to put my shoes pretty much where uh, I say stock X. And then the price, I'll put it at that price. But then I end up losing money because of the fact that uh, I'm uh, I'm promoting it by eBay promotion. And uh, they end up taking about, like, I'll probably say, like, around uh, 10 to probably $30. Because uh, the higher the price of the shoe the more they take. So for the breads that I put, uh, right now I have them at 7.1% promotion and eBay, and they're gonna take like $30. So instead of making 450, I end up making 420 profit, but then they charge you for the shipping label that you have to pay yourself, because I just got that from my uh, Air Jordan 1 Seafoams. So pretty much the, pretty much the same colorway guys, except it was a, uh, baby baby no wait yeah baby green and then white white this and baby green i don't know if you guys know the air jordan 4 air jordan 4 <laughs> my bad the air jordan 1 sea foam so those were the ones uh i end up selling and i'm like wait i already paid the shipping label and they're resending me that again so yeah man and then the playoffs like a couple days ago were insane that was pretty crazy man oh my it kind of fell off a bit but yeah man those playoffs who man the kansas city Versus the Bills, I honestly thought the Bills were going to win, but Kansas City ended up winning uh, 13 seconds left, I think, or 11 seconds left. They threw another touch. No, they hit a field goal, and then they went in overtime. They got the ball first, and then touchdown, and I was like, man, I feel bad for, ooh, uh, I don't want to mess up the name, but I guess Josh Allen, if I'm saying that correct, or, ooh, I kind of, I don't know. I, yeah, I think Allen, Allen. He threw four touchdowns for the Bills. And then uh, the Buccaneers versus the Rams. Yo, that was a crazy game, man. I was like, yo, the Ra I'm from Los Angeles. I'm supposed to be rooting for the Rams. But I was. I have my favorite player that is Tom Brady. <laughs> Which he was for the Bucs. And I'm like, uh, hopefully uh, t uh, the Bucs win, you know, and, try to and go to the playoffs so they can face the Rams. Yeah, because the 49ers had won their game against green bay and that was a crazy game too because honestly 49ers wait let me let me double check with you guys because <laughs> i don't know <laughs> i don't know if i'm putting this correctly <laughs> if i'm putting the teams correct let me see there we go all right so yeah uh, let me see all right, so uh, in 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 this week, pretty much January thirtieth, Bengals versus the Chiefs. I'm hoping. I mean, Chiefs got a good offense, man. Their uh, firepower is insane for the offense. Defense, uh, kind of iffy about that. Uh, the Bengals, they got good. They got good attack and good defense in between, moderate. But uh, they torched the. They torched the other team, which was pretty much the Raiders. But, uh, yeah, guys, from there, uh, 49ers versus the Rams. Uh, it's funny, too, because for uh, San Francisco, San Francisco, uh, San Francisco <laughs> it's like a couple hours a good couple hours away from here, from Los Angeles. And 
uh, and then Los Angeles Rams is here. So, I mean, for Los Angeles, I mean, for Los Angeles Rams, they got good, they got good defense because they got Donald, then they, then they got Miller from uh, Denver Broncos, but then 49ers got Bosa. So that is my, <laughs> that's gonna be an insane game. And then uh, from there, uh, let me see, Bengals and Chiefs. All right, so I'm gonna keep my prediction right now. I feel like the Rams are gonna win because. They have to win because last time they were a Super Bowl. Same goes with the 49ers. They were the Super Oh man, I forgot though. But they got uh they got Brady's quarterback, which is uh <laughs> that's tough. They got Garoppolo. Oh, I forgot about Garoppolo. Yeah. That's crazy, man, for real. Man, I can't believe Green Bay Packers lost. I thought they were gonna win, and they didn't even play like two weeks for two weeks straight. Yeah. And then Rams barely won by three points by Buccaneers because they were making a comeback. They were pretty much fumbling the ball the last two minutes, even though uh, the uh, Buccaneers did that too. Uh, Bengals and Titans, yo, that was that was a close game, man. Uh, Bengals pulled it off. Uh, Derrick Henry came back from the foot injury. I thought uh, I thought Titans were gonna win it, but uh, they didn't end up playing for two 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 games either. So they were pretty much like Green Bay because they won the division. But yeah, man, that was crazy from there. From there, this was a blowout. Uh, Cardinals versus the Rams. Uh, this was the wild cards, guys. Chiefs versus Steelers. Come on, man. Ben, ben Roffers, Blugger should have retired. But uh, unfortunately, they got into the playoffs because uh, uh, Raiders and San Diego pretty much faced each other in Week 17. And it was pretty much a draw, 32-32. But Raiders ended up kicking a field goal, and they won that. Patriots and Bills. Whoo! <laughs> That was a blow up, man. Bill Belichick was like, man, we got blown out, forty-seven to seventeen. Yeah, Raiders and Bengals, nineteen to twenty-six. A lot of Raiders fans were kind of upset about that because they were they thought they were going to win, but no. Eagles got blown out, fifteen to thirty-two, uh, just because of the fact that uh, Tom Brady got revenge since last Super Bowl and then last uh, last year too, I think. Uh, Cowboys and uh, 49ers, That was pretty upsetting because a lot of people wanted the forty Cowboys to win. Uh, my bad, not the 49ers. I said 49ers right now, but yeah, uh, yeah, man. But uh, every year with the Cowboys, no, I mean, dude, they always make it to the playoffs. I think they only missed the playoffs, I think, twice out of this, uh, to the, from 2010 to the 2022 that we are. I think two or three times, and they always get screwed over by a, a call, a flag, or something else. But uh, yeah, man, um, the, or they always win one, or they always win one playoff. And then they get eliminated in the divisional round. But, yeah, I mean, dude, where everybody was like, oh, man. Dude, everybody was upset about the Cowboys for real that game. But the 49ers were, were a better team, I think, in my perspective. But uh, at the end of the day, it's like, um, like I say, at any given time, any good team could lose to a bad team. Or uh, you make a play and the uh, tables could turn so quickly. But, yeah, it was pretty much those and then uh yeah man a lot of people lost in week 17 but i uh, kind of forgot about that should have made a video but uh yeah and then from there's the pro bowl but uh yeah man the, that's pretty much it for football 49ers and rams and then Bengals and chiefs uh hopefully i want the rams to win because i'm from los angeles because i got a roof for the, my own my home team uh i like donald you don't get me wrong i, I like donald i have a jersey but uh uh they changed quarterbacks i forgot too they don't got a they don't got the other guy. Uh, they got um, dude, I forgot his name. <laughs> I forget. I forgot. I forgot. Matt Stafford from the Detroit that they traded, and then they got a round pick at the Detroit. But yeah, that's pretty crazy right there. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the football guys. <laughs> uh, I honestly forgot. I keep forgetting people's name. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Uh, but like I was telling you guys before. Uh, uh been pretty much working out i haven't been recording instagram uh sorry if i haven't been recording instagram just uh <laughs> uh i work out and i just forget to record it's just like i'm so like ah uh, i'm trying to listen to music or i'm busy i'm busy trying to sell my shoes on ebay and then uh and then like on facebook i, I joined on facebook sneakerhead sneakerhead groups i'm like yeah i got it and then uh try to sell my shoes but then they always keep asking about refs referrals i'm like yo i'm selling on ebay <laughs> like 
I, I always tell them it literally says it to the authentication, then you get the shoe. But I know, like, it's just the safety precautions from selling sneaker, guys. You never want your sneaker to be fake, especially like if you're buying these uh, Nike Air Jordan. Uh, thank you. I was about to say 11. Throw it at one patent, uh, patent leathers. But uh, yeah, man, that's pretty much it, guys. I'm gonna let you guys go. Um, just the eBay process and everything. I always get, I always get, I always get charged with the eBay promotions and then the, uh, and then the shipping label. Yeah, because if I if I pay for shipping, I don't know, I don't know how how much is that gonna cost me, because I haven't done it before. But I should check the rates of shipping labels, and it just depends where you send them to. But uh, yeah, man. Uh, I was supposed to make this blogging video about 30 minutes, but I'm just letting you guys know what's going on. Uh, oh, oh, forgot about these. I just did a review for these. Uh, give me a sec. I did a review for these, the Ultra Boost. Uh, if you guys saw my review video in the, my one minute, uh, pretty much like one minute. It's like the one minute for like kind of like Instagram and uh, TikTok. I don't have a TikTok, but uh, I should make one to promote my shoes. But uh, it's like one minute to uh, pretty much promote uh, these, so you can get, uh, so people can see them out there. Pretty much the Yeezys uh, 350s blue tints. Uh, these last time came out uh, pretty much uh, 2017 or 18. I don't remember because I, I was saying 2016, but I think that was way too early. But yeah, these came out. Honestly, forgot about them. I didn't went heavy on these. I just pretty much, uh, if you guys watch my review video, I pretty much said like, hey, yo, if I, if I win them and uh, Nike confirm that, then great. If I don't win them, it's not a big deal because I have honestly pretty much, uh, pretty much won three pairs of Air Jordan 4 Crimsons. And uh, yeah, I'm holding on to those probably six months. I probably pretty much have them right now above retail. Like around three fifty to four hundred, because I know they're gonna increase, and I have this about like for four twenty or four hundred. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna change. I'm gonna change my prices, guys. To so check my eBay out, just letting you know, man. It's it just it takes process because I got about a couple of shoes that are having uh, consignments too. They do take a fee for if you're doing a consignment, but they take care of your shoe and uh, your shoe sells, and you don't gotta be you don't gotta be worrying about having your shoe at home, you know. Uh, that's mostly what I do, you know, for eBay. Uh, I got used to the eBay platform here and there, but uh, I should uh, I should sell on Amazon, but I don't know how Amazon works, you know. Like I know, I know if you guys sell from StockX, uh, StockX is very specific, like because you got you're gonna send them to StockX and they hold on to your shoe, or, or if you sell it, or or when it gets or my bad, or when it gets sold, but uh. Yeah, I gotta drink some water. My saliva's uh, turning like hot. <sighs> My food's coming up. I just ate some rice. I just ate some rice, beans, and carne asada. Pretty much arroz, frijoles, y carne asada. Just like, um, Pretty much like a bowl, pretty much like a plato, you know, but yeah. But yeah, like I was telling you guys, StockX is very easy to sell shoes. You sell them, but if you can't sell anything, uh, I will recommend sell, selling it to StockX and GOAT. But <laughs> trust me, you're not going to get retail because if, if the shoe's going for retail, uh, okay, example, let's say if I sell these, these are going for 320 Process fee, $10. So you're already getting taken out about like another twenty dollars, and then for I think authentic authentication or something like that, they take another like ten or twenty bucks. So <laughs> it's not good sometimes. It's not good sometimes selling to StockX, you know. But like I was saying, like if you can't sell a shoe and it's a brick size, and you're like, man, I can't move these, or pretty much trade them, you know. Like last time I posted on YouTube, I posted it up on. Uh, I posted it up on, on Facebook. I'm giving out three shoes for uh, any shoes surprise. I mean, uh, or you could choose your shoes, you know, for your Air Jordan One patent leathers. And a lot of people, uh, a lot of people try to get four. Come like, come on, man. I'm already help. I'm already hooking you up because 
Two shoes are for retail. Jordan 1s are like 170, 186. With taxes are 187. Jordan 4s are about uh, 210, 208 or 209. Uh, 210 if you pay for shipping. I know for my full locker, I pay like 220. But And then uh, Jordan 5s are like 240, 250 retail price with taxes. So, yeah, because I was trying to stock up on the Jordan 1 patent leathers uh, or cool grays. And, uh, yeah, man, nobody took the deal, you know? Because I'm like, yo, I'll give you... I was pretty much, uh, like, my last trade was... Uh, my last trade was going to be... I'll give you my Jordan 1 board X. Uh, I was... Uh, well, right now it's... Right now it's a brick size because it's not moving, but it is a brick size. I had three pairs. I returned one to Nike sneaker app because I got the Air Jordan one uh, Brits patent leathers because uh, I'll never carry cash with me because uh, I mostly just pay with uh, a debit or credit card or Apple Pay. But um, yeah, so I didn't pay my mom that. And then I sold another one for like two twenty, uh, pretty much to another guy which I got from JD Sports or Finish Line size twelve. I uh, have him on Facebook. He knows who he is. Uh, pretty much, I treat everybody like family, guys. Look, if you make a good deal with me, you don't hassle me for, like, super low-balling. Uh, we're talking about, like, <laughs> like outrageous numbers that people low-ball you for. Uh, you're, pretty much giving, you're pretty much giving me a bad vibe and rubbing me the wrong way in business because uh, it's just like, yo, man, I'm trying to make my money, but you over here kind of, kind of uh, screwing me over with the prices, but... Yeah, man, so uh, pretty much it was that. And then, the okay, so Jordan 1 Bordex. Then there was the Jordan 13 Obsidians. That is a beautiful shoe, but it's it's a brick size right now. You got to hold on to those if you guys want something to increase on prices. But we're talking at the long run. We're talking about, like, whew, take a while, like, probably minimum a year because those just barely released, like, a couple months ago. And then uh, any Yeezy 700 that I got, I got Yeezy Safflowers. Got Yeezy Triple Black and and MBs. <laughs> uh, uh, I had Dunks before, which uh, he picked pretty much the guy that I was gonna trade three pairs for an Xbox. He chose the Dunks, and then my two brick sizes. Uh, or he was gonna chose a Yeezy slide, the Dunks, and then a brick size pair. Yeah, but uh, when I didn't have the Cool Grays or the Breads or the or the Zebras Blue Tints, if you want to call these like that. But uh, yeah uh was gonna do the trade because my little cousin needed an xbox or a ps5 since um i thought i didn't i didn't think that my cousin was gonna get it but he actually got it for christmas this was pretty much this was pretty much like last month guys i was gonna do that trade i'm like well i can't keep the x i can't keep the xbox you know give it to my little brother since he has my old xbox and it is kind of running slow for him because uh if you guys remember, I had an old Xbox that was pretty much 2014. And what year are we? 2014, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. <laughs> Eight years. And I just recently got this Xbox X just pretty much like six months ago. Like around May. Uh, around six months. You see what I mean? My saliva is getting, <laughs> My saliva's getting thick from talking way too much. Yeah, I really don't play much, guys. Uh, reason why? Because I lag in Call of Duty. <laughs> Yo, Call of, if you guys play Call of Duty Warzone, man, you lag so bad. Sometimes you're like, dude, I'm playing Rebirth Isolate and you're lagging. If you're playing Verdance, well, there's no more Verdance, it's Caldera. Uh, you don't lag as much if you play solo, but <laughs> you'll be like, oh, I'm lagging now. <laughs> You kind of want to kind of want to rage quit, but it's not even your internet. It's just a game, like uh, it's just super laggy to play. Sometimes you uh, like uh, that meme. Sometimes I uh, what's that meme? Sometimes go, sometimes shit. <laughs> that meme, yeah. And then okay, <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, um, what else? That's pretty. The, okay oh yeah all right so I'm, I'm gonna let you guys go man snipe usa tomorrow well today now because it's already like 12 something in the morning uh seven in the morning snipe usa last oh i think second to last final chance to get your air jordan one patent leathers uh ho <laughs> i'm hopefully praying that i can hit at least on a size 12 or higher uh mostly in a 14 but i'll take any pair if i could cop but because those are gonna make profit 
uh, or maybe my size is 11 and a half and I'll keep that pair, you know? I'm definitely gonna keep this pair, cause yeah. <laughs> but other than that, guys, uh, if you guys wanna snipe USA and you guys watching this video, uh, hit that like button, uh, or give, just, just subscribe, you know? I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to reach 10,000 followers and I kinda hit a plateau since uh, I'm right now like uh, about to hit 6,000 followers. I was supposed to hit the, I was supposed to hit at the end of last month, but uh, there hasn't there hasn't been anything good for Pokemon Go, <laughs> which a lot of people know me of Pokemon Go, man. I'm a level 46 right now or 47. Uh, I need those level requirements and I need nine million XP, which I ran out of XP for Pokemon Go. So I gotta catch those Pokemon, guys. I gotta wah, catch that, catch those with the excellent uh, most well mostly with a great throw, cause. Uh, <laughs> those excellent throws are impossible to throw, especially if it's a uh, those tiny circles that you got like on the Pokemon Go. You guys know what I'm talking about, but <laughs> Whew, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys around, man. Adios and uh, good luck with the Air Jordan One Breads. Oh, and then there was a shock drop today for the Cool Gray Eleven. So I honestly forgot about that. I don't know if I talk about that, but they kind of sold out quickly. And then they did the Air Jordan One Panda Leathers Two, but it was only for your pretty much for texas so yeah